Hello everybody. Oh my goodness. So I know I cannot waste any time with this intro because this video is going to take forever to film and I'm already like really sweaty in my house because it's so humid outside. So this is just going to be an ordeal. But today I'm going to be showing you my study abroad wardrobe. So I was abroad for four months on a program called Semester at Sea, which was really super fun and I had to pack all of my clothes with me obviously. So I'm going to go through everything I packed and show that to you today. So it all fit in one duffel bag. I put all my clothes in a duffel bag. I put a few of my shoes in my suitcase and then like my toiletries in the actual suitcase. But everything that I brought fit in a duffel bag. So I'll just show you all of that and do a little try on for you guys. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe because this was a hassle to film. I made a huge mess. So without further ado, let's get into everything I brought with me clothing wise, accessory wise, and shoe wise for my semester abroad. So I'm going to start by showing you the bottoms that I brought with me and then just move on from there. I don't know the order yet, but it's going to be exciting to find out. So first of all, these are some shorts that I brought. They're black and like elastic-y and I could wear them to work out or as sleep shorts. And I have three pairs of shorts that were like versatile like this. So I have these black ones. I have these navy blue ones from Athleta, which also just work great for sleeping or working out or just walking around in a country when you don't want to be super hot. And then I have these like terry cloth dark gray shorts. Again, super versatile, go with everything. Always great to wear, like if I was on the ship and just hanging out with friends, I would also wear these with like a sweatshirt or honestly this shirt, like this is such a basic outfit, but I'd wear this all the time. And you may notice that I did not pack any jean shorts because I hate them. So <laughs> I packed a lot of dresses because I love wearing dresses and skirts and I packed like comfy shorts, but I did not pack any jean shorts, but I did pack some jeans, of course, because on my voyage or my study abroad program, I just had a lot of different climates that I had to get used to. So my biggest tip overall is just to bring things that you can layer really easily and that are lightweight so you can put on multiple. So let's keep going with the pants. So these are some comfy gray sweatpants that I got from Old Navy for like super cheap just to wear when I was hanging out on the ship. Then I had this pair of black ripped jeans that are like ankle length, again from Old Navy. I think they're so cute and they're so comfortable and stretchy. And then I also packed a pair of light wash blue jeans. So it is super important to have at least one pair of jeans that do not have holes in them because if you're going to different countries, sometimes holes in your pants is seen as like disrespectful or it's just not appropriate to wear. So be sure that you have some that do not have holes so you're prepared for that. Okay, and this next pair of pants is honestly like the best thing I brought on this voyage or one of them for sure because they are these really loose wide leg brown trouser pants that are high waisted and so flattering and so cute. And I got them from Topshop and these are important because in a lot of countries like I just mentioned like they don't have the same clothing rules or regulations not like rules but like just what's appropriate here isn't necessarily appropriate in every country that's not the United States. So you want to have loose clothing so you're always covered so you're going to want to have some like wide leg pants so if you're going to Morocco or something you're appropriate and they need to be like long and just like not tight and these are lightweight. They do not wrinkle. Like I washed them in my sink and just hung them up in my shower and they looked like literally perfect. So I would totally recommend some pants like this. They go with everything and I love them so much. And then I packed, I think three pairs of plain black leggings because I wore them all the time to work out like every single day. Maybe I had two pairs, but I'm pretty sure it was three pairs. So I wore them to like hang out and to work out and this was super great. And then I brought this other pair that is dark green just to switch it up. You know, you don't want to wear black ones all the time, bring another color. And then I brought four sports bras and four workout tank tops. So here's the first one. It's white and has little black polka dots on it. Then I brought a plain black one. I brought this really cute teal one that matches these leggings perfectly from Under Armour. And then I brought this light teal one too. As for workout tank tops, I brought this teal one with me, this hot pink one, this light pink one. And then I also brought one that is plain black. You can just imagine that one, but it's dirty right now. I wore it this morning. So I think workout tank tops are great because then if you're hiking in country or something also like doing an activity there, you'll be prepared to get like sweaty and hot. So be sure to bring some workout clothes if you plan on working out. So now let's move on to tops. So of course I have this light green v-neck, which you've already seen. I have this plain black t-shirt, which is perfect for layering. Like I'd put dresses over this and other shirts over this also. And then I have 
this other black t-shirt which is plain but it has a square neckline instead of a high one. Then I had this super cute yellow and white striped like button-up blouse. This light pink flouncy button-up shirt and I just realized like if you want to see what outfits I actually wore, I have some of them on my Instagram, so you can look there to see like how I paired things together. That'd be a good idea. Then I had this black lace-up shirt, which I think is like the cutest thing in the whole world. Then I had a plain black turtleneck for layering, a thin lightweight cheetah print turtleneck, a zip-up velvet sweatshirt or hoodie, a brown sweatshirt that I absolutely love. I love how wide the sleeves are and just how boxy it is. And I was fine with these two sweatshirts, but like another one might have been nice because it did get really cold while I was on my voyage. And just on the ship, it was really windy and I like to be like cozy. So maybe one more would be a good idea. And if you want me to make a whole video about clothes that I would bring with me on a semester abroad if I went again, let me know if you want that in the comments below. And then I had this orange fuzzy like button front sweater and that was super useful. And I layered turtlenecks under it a lot, so that was really cute. And since we're doing sweaters, let's just do coats right now also. So the first coat I brought is this cute yellow short raincoat. Super cute, I love the color yellow. So this one was an absolute favorite of mine on the trip. And then I packed this long gray raincoat as well, which was an absolute lifesaver because it's like more heavyweight and way warmer. And this is literally from like Costco. I bet it was like $20 or less. I think it was like 14 but it's so nice. And I like the way it's like long. It kept me like actually dry. So a longer raincoat might be a good idea for you also. And then the last coat I brought is this army green jean jacket from Zara. And I realize I'm doing a kind of bad job telling you the brands of things. So if you wanna know where something is from, you can ask me that in the comments down below and I'll try to answer that for you. <laughs> but I love this jean jacket. I thought it was so cute. Then I had this tan long sleeve shirt, which was great for countries where you had to have more coverage because it's lightweight and very modest. I also had this lightweight sort of blousey shirt with yellow flowers on it that I wore for embarkation day. And this one was also a great one for the hotter countries where you needed to be modest. And this is a plain black halter top that was great for when it was super hot out. And I love halter tops. I think they go great with everything. Then this is another halter top tank top, which is red and brown striped. So that was also great for hot countries. Then I had this tank top, which is super loose and flowy and has black and white flowers on it. And then this one, which is striped and green and has little bows for the shoulder ties, which I really love. And I think we're done with tops. That was so tiring. I'm so sweaty. So let's keep going with skirts and dresses. So this is a green skirt that has a bow tie in the front. So this was really cute. I also wore this with tights a lot. I'm not gonna put those on for you, but they're just like black, like sheer tights that I brought for colder countries so I could still wear my dresses and skirts. So this was an outfit that I wore a lot. And then, so this tank top is actually a part of a set from H&M, which is great for traveling because then you can mix and match things. This is a maxi skirt with slits up the side and then just the tank top. And I would often wear the skirt with like a black tank top too, or this tank top with something else. But then you can also wear it together to make it look like a dress. So that is a great option. Look for matching sets when you're shopping for your trip. And then one final skirt that I brought is this black like tennis skirt, I think you call them, or just like workout skirt. But I'd wear it with tank tops in country when it was really hot. And now we're on to dresses. So first I just brought a plain black t-shirt dress. Super casual, super comfy. I packed this cute floral dress that I got from a Target and I love the pattern of it and I thought it was just so cute and I wore it a lot when we were walking around in country because it's lightweight. I packed this purple flowy dress which I wore uh, the turtleneck under a few times, the black one and a black t-shirt just to mix it up. I brought this mustard yellow flowy dress with long sleeves. It's lightweight but it has long sleeves so it's pretty modest and I wore this one with tights a lot. And then I bought two dresses while I was in other countries as souvenirs. So this one is yellow and this one was off the street in Spain and it's long and flowy. You can barely see the bottom of it, but it's a little bit of a high-low dress and I wore this one a ton. And then I bought this little red dress when I was in Portugal and I wore this one a lot also. And then this is one final dress that I packed that I'm not gonna try on because it's in a dry cleaning bag and it's all pressed and clean. But this is the one I wore for the alumni ball. So it's light pink and like tan and it's a short dress, but I'll insert a photo of it. But it just goes down to like here on me. Really cute, I only wore it for the alumni ball. Some people brought dresses where they wore them like multiple times and then for the alumni ball. 
but I just brought one to wear just once, so I really like this dress too. And now this is a really weird transition from dresses, but I'm gonna show you my pajamas now, and then I will do swimsuits, shoes, and accessories, so stick around. So this is the only like matching set of pajamas that I brought. It's black and super soft and lightweight, and it's from Target. And then I brought this tie-dye t-shirt, and I already showed those shorts at the beginning, that I would wear for like working out, for lounging, and for pajamas. So I'm just wearing like the matching set shorts with these just to show you. But I tried to wear t-shirts that I could also wear just like out and about on the ship just to lounge around in. So not ones that were just sleep shirts. I wanted them to be versatile, so this was one of them. And then this was another, and I wanted to bring at least one shirt from my college so I could like rep my school and be like, this is where I go. So maybe do that for your voyage as well or your study abroad trip. And then these next few shirts are some that I did not bring with me, but I bought on my voyage. So as you can tell, I barely brought like any pajamas, but that's because I knew I was going to be buying t-shirts. So this is one that says semester at sea, and I bought it for Sea Olympics because I was in the Red Sea. And I actually cropped the Sea Olympic shirt because I did not like the original length of it. And then this is one that I bought in Costa Rica, which is just really long, and it has a frog and a martini glass on the back, which I thought was really funny, so that's why I bought it. And then swimsuits. So this is the one one piece that I brought. And then I packed one pair of black bottoms, which I wore with this top and this top. And then I brought this rainbow set from Target. And I think that I would have brought one more swimsuit if I could go back in time, probably with a different neckline because a lot of these were straight across, which gave me some weird straight across tan lines. And now I'm just wearing something really boring, but let's talk about shoes now because I'm done trying on clothes. So the first pair of shoes that I brought with me are my green Birkenstocks, which are nice, nice sandals, really comfortable. And then I had these strappy leather sandals, which were super nice because they're so thin. So you could pack them up just in a backpack or in a bag and bring them with you anywhere. And then I had my Vans, which were again, super comfortable, matched with a lot of things. And something that I don't really tell you before you go on Semester at Sea, this is specific to Semester at Sea, is that you need to bring a lot of closed toed shoes because on the ship, the doors close really quickly if we're on wavy water. So it can hit your toes, so they want you wearing closed toed shoes most of the time. So then I brought these tennis shoes, which were new and white when I brought them. Now they're kind of dirty, but I wore them for the gym on the ship. And then I had a pair of like adventure tennis shoes. This is not the pair I brought. Mine were pink, but they got lost. They flew off when I was bungee jumping. But this is like the idea. Like these were ones that were dirty already and that I could bring like hiking or in waterfalls or anything like that. And then I had one pair of brown boots, which I wore with dresses and in the colder countries. And then a lot of people bring different shoes for the alumni ball, which is like the ball at the very end of the voyage where everyone dresses up super nicely. And I did too, but I brought really thin ones and small ones because I didn't want to take up a lot of space with like huge heels. So that is my last pair of shoes that I brought. And then as for jewelry that I brought, I did not want to bring a lot of big flashy stuff that would draw attention to me. And I did not want to bring big hoops because I heard that those can be like yanked on or ne your necklaces can be pulled off. So I only brought these two necklaces. They're from like Old Navy, so they're super cheap, but they're so cute. And sometimes I'd wear them layered together or separately. This one is a little star and this one has a little diamonds. And then I brought these small silver hoops. I brought an even smaller pair of little gold hoops. And then I brought like a brown and black like turtley pair of a little bit bigger hoops, but I lost those so I cannot show them to you. But that is all I brought for jewelry. And you're probably gonna buy more jewelry in other countries anyway as souvenirs, maybe. So then you can always just have more that way, but do not bring too much. And then I brought two belts with me for jeans. So I brought this dark brown one with this buckle and then this black one with this really cool buckle. So those are my belts that I brought. And then I brought three pairs of sunglasses. So I had these black and gold ones, which I really like. I had these light pink ones, which I like because they don't get stuck in your hair. Like they don't have the like pulley things. So I brought these as well and they're mirrored, which is cool. And then these are my favorite pair of sunglasses. They're like turtly again on the edges and I brought these as well. So I think three pairs are totally good. I could have brought like one or two, but I wanted a backup in case one broke or I lost one. And then you're going to need to pack a purse of sorts. And this is not the exact one that I had with me because that one got thrown away because it got so beat up. But this is about the same size as mine was and the same color. So bring like a neutral color and one that you don't care about too much in case it gets ruined like mine did. And then I realized I didn't talk about like bras or underwear or anything yet, but I think I brought maybe like 15 pairs of underwear and then washed them because they're so small. They don't take up a lot of room in your luggage, but I didn't want to have to wash them like every day. And then I brought maybe like 10 pairs of socks and just plain black ones basically. And then I brought maybe like six bralettes or maybe seven. But I really only wore like four like on rotation and I would just wash them so you do not need to overpack in that area. 
And now the last category of things I want to talk about are hair accessories because I absolutely love hair accessories. I think they make photos that you take look so cute and they can change an outfit completely. So if you wear like the same outfit, like a basic black t-shirt, but have a different like scrunchie or hair scarf in your hair, it's going to look so much cooler. So I recommend bringing a ton of these on your trip because they're small and can change an outfit up really well. So these are some light pink clips that I bought before I left, which I thought were really cute. So this is one thing that I brought with me. And then I brought this blue and white pattern headband, this plain gray headband. And just one thing about headbands, like if your hair is dirty, headbands are a great way to make it look not dirty because you can just hide all the grease. And also it keeps your hair out of your face if it's really windy or really hot. So that is also a huge plus. Then I packed this like dark rainbow headband and then this red and black stripe one in the exact same style. I packed this pink hair scarf, which I would fold up and use as a headband again, which I thought was really cute. Like I would go, let me just show you really quickly. I'd go like this around my hair and then wrap it once in the front. I would fold it better obviously and then tie it back so it looked like this. And this is also useful. You can just like tie it around your neck if you want. You can tie it around a ponytail like this way. It's all super cute. And then I brought two thick hair ribbons that can go on your ponytails or again can be worn as a headband like this. And then I packed these like silky scrunchies but they look like hair bands if that makes sense. So they just go around your hair and then it goes around your ponytail like that. And these are both from H&M and so cute. And then I got this really cute pink scrunchie when I was in Ecuador. And then I picked up these two when I was in Ghana. So these are just really fun and I liked having them to remind me of my travels because I love hair things. So I wear these all the time now. And that is just like a great way to remember all the things that I did and just the souvenirs that I got. So I hope you guys liked this video. It took me a while to film. I am so sweaty and my room is an absolute mess. But if you liked it, then it's all worth it. And if it helps you pack for your travels, then I'm so glad. So if you want to see me do more like outfit videos or anything like that, give me some ideas down below and I'll see what we can do. Or if you have any more just like study abroad questions, let me know that in the comments down below as well. So please subscribe to my channel. That would make my day. And I will see you guys in my next video.